Okay, so we offer a three-year BSc course, um, similar to most pro programmes for physiotherapy. Uh, it's validated by the HCPC and also the Chartered Society of Physiotherapists. It covers the three main branches of physio, so it's musculoskeletal, neurology and respiratory, uh, and it combines both times in theory within university, but also some clinical placements uh, out in practice. So we're really lucky we've got a bespoke physio lab, uh, so it was designed with physiotherapy in mind, uh, so it's multimedia ready, we've got loads of plinths and beds, we utilise lots of exercise and physiology, uh, but it's home, homed in a building with biomechanics labs, uh, physiology labs, and also a, uh, a bespoke um, environmental chamber. So it's really, really good for physiotherapy students to be able to really experience what it's like in cutting edge physiotherapy practice. Each student has a, as, as a personal tutor, uh, but they'll also have a kind of uh, a course leader uh, and then also have support staff. Um, so we have a student support group, we have uh, learning skills, we have the, um, the learning skills library, uh, and, uh, and it's really geared towards supporting students and allowing them to, to really Sean with with us. I work within the physiotherapy uh, lecturers team since January but I still um, work clinically so I do two days at um, my uh, local trust and three days uh, supporting the uh, program. I think it's an excellent way to bring the fresh clinical cases to the lecturer and explaining uh, to a student and what's going on in the trust as well. So we're still involving changing and uh, clinical practice um, developing so it's uh, fresh and it's ready to um, teach the students all about it and um, prepare them to um, the clinical areas that I'm experiencing at the moment. So with physiotherapy there is range of specialities, there is range of uh, ways to develop. Within a clinical area you can specialise in neurology, respiratory, you can be an acute or MSK physiotherapist, but also research um, is a brilliant way to um, innovate a practice um, for the clinical um, uh, specialists. First I went in to uh, study sports and exercise science, uh, back home in Essex and then um, that carried on for three years and then I took that time to sort of do a bit of personal training but I still just wasn't quite happy with what I was doing. That's when I become a physio assistant um, back home in Essex and worked in trauma orthopaedics uh, for over a year and then when I moved up to Leicester I worked in Burton again as a physio assistant. What advice I would give to future students? Um, so yeah just to do some research around the job role because some people just think it's just massages and that's it, but it's, it's a lot more to do with that. So I think if you go to interviews and you've shown them that you understand the role a bit more, then definitely do that. And if you can get a job as a physio assistant, um, do that because you're gonna to learn tons more um, actually working, what I felt like anyway, and then what you just do reading online, like you get more of like a personal experience and you're gonna witness a few more things a bit more surreal than what you're just used to seeing. I've always had quite a keen interest in physiotherapy. Um, but there was quite a personal reason as well. Um, when I was quite young, my mum actually acquired a spinal injury um, from a motorbike accident and had to have quite intensive physiotherapy, which included um, like full rehab, um, cardiorespiratory physiotherapy. And that's really where my interest um, came about. And that's, yeah, that's how I decided that I wanted to be a physio. Well, I really like the way that we have a theory teaching and then it's always followed by a practical session so it really helps to solidify the information that you've been given and being able to apply it with your peers. There's all the resources there that you can use, obviously all of the teaching resources that are used in lectures are put online so that we can access them from home. So particularly for me as trying to juggle parenting, adult life and studying and work, if there is a reason why I can't attend lecture one day Everything is there for me to be able to access at home with ease, so I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything.